McKinley is being pressed by Hannah to go on the road because because once panic sets in, it's un, it's unstoppable. Mm -hmm. And Hannah is panicked. Mm -hmm. He's now by by late July and early August beginning to believe, by God, we got a race on our hands. And he keeps pressuring McKinley, you got to go on the road. And McKinley says to him, you know, look, I I, I can't do that. I mean, if 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 I go on the road, he he's got to get on a trapeze, and I'm going to have to, you know, I'm going to have to mimic him. If I go on the road, I've been on the road before. I know what it's like. Uh, Hannah sends friends to go talk to him. He sends Charles G. Dawes to go talk to him. He shows sends a friend Myron T. Herrick to go talk to him. And, he, and, and, and finally, McKinley says, I've got to think before I speak. So what happens is people are, are already showing up in groups in Canton to see the major. So somebody, and I think that somebody is McKinley, says, let's make that my routine. Only let's get it organized. So these people don't simply show up on my doorstep and say, hey, we're here to see you. Let's set it up so that we know who's coming. Let's invite the people we want to have come. So it's not just the people who want to volunteer to come, but let's have them come. If, we, if it's a critical voter group from a critical state, let's know that they're coming. Have them send us the, what they want to say in advance so we can edit it. Let's figure out what I'm going to say so that I've got remarks each time they show up. We'll have them met at the station. We'll take them under an, an arch to the courthouse square. We'll have them form up there. We'll have, them, we'll have bands and all kinds of entertainment to keep them occupied. And when the moment comes, when I finish meeting with the last delegation, we know how long it takes them to march up Market Street. They can then come on the lawn. We'll have an organized program. They can say what they want to say. I'll say to what they want to say. They'll give me a gift. I will thank them for coming. If I've got time, I'll shake everybody's hand. And bang, we go on to the next group. Mm -hmm. And this becomes uh, campaigning on an industrial scale. 750,000 people come to Canton, Ohio. Mm -hmm. On some weekends, 100,000 people come in groups of varying sizes, and they, it is like a regimented thing. They show up at the station, they go to the town square, the women go shopping, the men pick up some cigars, the merchants do well in town. Sometimes they feed, sometimes the community takes special groups and feeds them at the tabernacle. Mm -hmm. they, have, they have appropriate drinks for the men. If you're wet, you, they got a beer and a sandwich, and if you're a dry, you get a cup of coffee and a sandwich. And they come through the major, and it's industrial in scale, but it is unified, organized, and deliberate. He knows exactly what he wants to say. The message is tailored to that individual audience and repeated back in their hometown papers and repeated by them when they go home. Well, I saw the major, and here's what he said mm -hmm. to me. So who do you, um, which of these two men do you think addressed more people? Well, I'm convinced by the numbers that Brian sees more people. The estimate is two to three million people attended his rallies. Mm -hmm. He would go everywhere, and there were people. Mm -hmm. But he attracted spectators. Mm -hmm. And McKinley attracted supporters. People went to see the it's great targeted. man. It was targeted. And what he did was he drew key, he in essence created an army. And his campaign was based around this principle. We want to create an army of people who will serve as our surrogates and our advocates. Mm -hmm. And they organized, I mean, they organized everybody. They had uh, groups for blacks and Germans. They had women because some women w could vote in western states. One of the, they organized traveling salesmen, the commercial club. Mm -hmm. Because these were people who traveled widely, spoke well, and knew lots of people. Mm -hmm. There was a big craze sweeping the country. Lots of young men were falling into it. And it was a great excitement. And so they decided to tap it. Bicycles. Mm -hmm.